Hello, this is John Adolphe. Welcome to another episode of HUD Home Underground. Today we're at 205 Hall Ave in Salve, and this house is approximately, oh, 945 square feet. It is on a 40 by 83 foot lot. It does have a garage as we swing around to the left side here and off street parking in a driveway. All right. It says here we've got, uh, let me see. Two bedrooms, one bath. HUD's, HUD's original asking price was $50,000. The last asking price on this one was $45,000. If there's been a price change, we'll flash it up on the screen. As usual, I have not been inside this house. Also, at this point on your screen, I will flash whether or not this has Salve Electric or National Grid. All right, with that, let's get inside. Before we go inside, I just want to let you know that I, I like the condition and the look of the siding, except for down there, there's some you know, uh, missing pieces. But I'll tell you, you can uh, find replacement pieces for this type of siding, but the rest of it looks good intact. Uh, the roof looks like it's a few years old, but not in bad shape at all. And it looks like we've got new doors, new vinyl windows. All right, very good. Now let's go inside. Okay, we come into the left here. We see living room with radiant steam, heat. Understand that uh, anything with metal and water, the possibility of freeze, freeze up if it has not been winterized properly is always a possibility, all right? <clears throat> I don't know with these type of, of radiant heat, because they're made out of iron and not copper, if there is more resilience in when there's freezer damage. I have been in houses where there were like chunks broken off, you know, big chunks, because when iron breaks, it's brittle and it breaks and it doesn't just split like copper does. Okay, what we've got here is the, I don't know. You've got your entry here, so this could be your dining area, your, your something room it's got hardwood floors need to be attended to what do we got here is this vinyl or is this okay it looked like ceramic and we've got a nice looking bathroom here yep it's been remodeled looks good fresh coat of paint you're good to go all right i think i wouldn't bother well well, the floors look pretty stained up, and afterthought is I would just carpet it. Kitchen floor, a little dated, cheap tiles, inexpensive, but, um, you know, intact. Cabinets, they'll work. With a little imagination in the right paint, those could look pretty good again. Oh, look. Maybe you'd want to replace the countertop and pick out a really good paint. And the handles have already been replaced, but depending on what color and style or stenciling or whatever that you do um, on the kitchen cabinets, you would want to, of course, have that match or reflect with the knobs. And they've got some sort of like wall board here. All right, let's go upstairs. It's got vinyl windows, I've noticed. See if they're throughout. Yeah, they are. I'm seeing vinyl windows up here too. Okay, so you've got a, I guess a bedroom here. Actually, it could be, but you know, most of the time you're not going to want to use this as a bedroom because it walks into two bedrooms here and you'd have to walk through it to get to the bedroom, each bedroom. So let's just call this a two bedroom like the tax, assess or the tax assessors do. And this is a medium to slightly larger medium bedroom with a closet. I like, not bad. Coat of paint. Uh, carpeting, it's, it's worn. It could be cleaned if you're on a budget. Same with this one too. Carpet doesn't look too bad, needs a good cleaning. Painted the colors that you want. Vinyl window. You can put a queen size bed here, I believe, without much room to get out on each side, or a single bed. 
A couple of dressers. Got a closet. Did I see an attic or no? Okay, bathroom. Obviously tubs missing and new kitchen sink. So yeah, you pretty much want to replace the bathroom in here. Okay. Now I've got my trusty Cyclops, so we're going to go in the basement and take a look down there. All right, doesn't look like we need Cyclops today. Well, we'll see. Okay, um, basement is uh, spotty, you know, not super dry or anything. It's moist around all the edges. And here is a very old looking boiler. Now whether it works or not, it's anybody's guess. No, it's well, it's got an energy guide there, so it's it's not that that old. Let's take a look. Okay, all right. Can't I don't know if we can get a date on this, but um, it's not as old as what I thought it was. So you may just have a perfectly good working. Okay, it looks like it was winterized November thirtieth, two thousand ten. Guess what? That's a really good indication that. Your plumbing may not be all messed up and split and everything. Gas hot water tank. So far, so good. We got circuit breakers. Very good. All right. HUD's last asking price was $45,000 for this house. This would be a good starter home for someone or a decent rental for an investor. A lease option to buy, flipping it. Yep. I'll give this one, oh, one and a quarter to one and a third thumbs up. I'm John Adolfi. You guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by the Underground.